In this video, I'm gonna be showing you Evoto AI's brand new color matching feature. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Tommy Reynolds and I'm a portrait and wedding photographer and photographic educator based in South East England. And today we're going to be looking at Evoto AI's brand new AI colour match tool. If you don't already know what Evoto AI is, if you just click the card up there, that's going to take you to another video that I did recently, giving you a good overview of the system and how it really does work and how it's pretty game changing. But what is this new feature and what does it do? So the AI color match feature allows you to take an image as a reference and it allows you to pull the styles, the tones and the color from one image to your own images. So if you've seen any reference images online, you're putting together a mood board of something you want to create, or you're just not quite getting the colors from a reference image in your own images, this is going to be the tool that's going to get you there in just a few clicks. So let's jump in and see how it works. So here I am in Evoto. I'm going to open up my project. I've already uploaded a few um, random images. There's a headshot, there's a maternity, there's a commercial, there's a family shot. So there's a mixture of things here, including a landscape shot to show you how this works on a variety of different images. So if you're familiar with Voto already, here is the, uh, the user interface. But if we now go to the AI color adjustment, and I'm going to start by uploading some reference images that I found online that I want to apply to some of these images here. So I'm going to go to upload for color matching and I've got a bunch of images here as references that I'm going to use for today's example. And the one I want to use for this family shot is I found this image. I love the vibrancy, the saturation. It looks great. Um, it's nice, bit bright and airy as well. So when we select that, it's going to open and it's going to generate and analyze the colors and apply it to my image image of my wife and my son George. It's generating, it's processing and within seconds it is done. Uh, if I hit the space bar we can see what the before and after looks like. I can go to reference view so I can see the image that I'm trying to replicate and just so I can see side by side if it's getting close to where I want it to be. Just straight out of the back, um, the first thing I, I noticed straight away is obviously the saturation, but also look at the sky. It's really pulled out the detail in the sky, giving it the same uh, blue, the same shade of blue. It's obviously brought the highlights down so that we can see some detail in there. But also in the foreground, it's also brought out all the shadow detail and as well as bring out that vibrancy that was there. And if we look really closely, we can see that the skin tones have warmed up as well. Again, just like the skin tones on uh, the model here on our reference image. Now I should say that this is doing it in a very intelligent way. This isn't simply just taking the colors and then slapping it onto my image. It's being much more intelligent and smart about it. It's actually looking at the background. It's looking at the sky. It's looking at the model. It's looking at the, the skin tone, how vibrant it is and applying it to there. So it's taking all of these individual parameters and applying them based on what the reference is. So it's not simply just slapping it on, it actually is working intelligently to give you a very similar look. And I reckon it's done a pretty good job. If I wanted to, I can adjust the uh, amounts. You can see obviously by pulling it down, we can see where we were and by lifting it all the way to 100%. Now Evoto does allow you to tweak this even further by clicking this little icon here. This will allow me to independently change the tone and the color from the background or from the actual subjects themselves. And I can even individually go in and change all these different parameters. Now, um, my wife and son, they're quite far back. So I'm going to use a different image to better show changing those individual parameters. So let's look at another brand new image. Again, this is straight out of camera and I'm going to upload now a different uh, image. Now, I found this one online and what I really liked about the reference here is the shadows are very blue. At the same time though, the skin detail here is still quite, um, it's, it's not completely blue. There's still some uh, rosiness to the skin tones. Um, but I knew that in my original image, there was there's some mist in the background as you can see here. So what I really want to achieve is I want all of that um, that mistiness to have a really blue tone to it. And I think this one's going to be a good example of that. So let's upload it and see what happens. Now it's down here processing and then within seconds, it's now given me that lovely blue tone to the background. Now, 
Looking at the skin tone, it's not quite where I want it to be. It's pretty close, but it's not quite where I want it to be. So this is where we're gonna show you how clicking this icon here will allow you to really tweak and fine tune this to get it exactly where you want. So if we go into the adjustments here, I can adjust the amount by zero to 100, but we can individually just adjust the tone. Now, if I bring that all the way down, so that brings the skin uh, brightness and uh, rosiness to a more consistent level, but we're still getting that lovely blue color to the background. If I put that up and then move the color down, then we can see the tone remains and then the color is gone. So you can just fine tune this and get something that you like kind of in, in the middle ground here. But one thing I have lost is the green in her dress. It's, that's also turned it a shade of blue. Um, I love everything else, but I would really love that green dress back. Now there is a way you can tweak that. So in order to do that, we go to the masking tab. And this is where we can individually change the tone and color of anything we see here. So if I select the clothes and then bring down the color, that's only gonna affect the color of her clothes and then I can bring a little bit of that green back if I wanted to take a step back and then we can see our before and after. I could adjust just the background if I wanted to but I really like the tone again that's what I was aiming for was that very blue background so I'm more than happy with what it's done there. Going to the body skin so let's say I want to make an adjustment to the facial skin and the body skin so I'm going to select facial skin and body skin and then I'm going to bring down the tone further again just to just to make it a little bit darker to what I believe would be more realistic to how it would have been on the day and there we go I'm pretty happy with that that's where I want it to be just a couple of clicks to match the color and just a couple more clicks after that to fine tune and get it exactly where I want it to be uh, let's take a look at another photo. So this is an image I took uh, from my drone. It's just a JPEG, um, but it does work with JPEGs. It's not just raw images that you uh, only need to upload. So let's upload. I found this one online. Again, very vibrant. I really like the tones in this one. So let's select this one and see what happens. So we can see a before and after what it's done there. Now I do like what it's done with the color, but you might agree with me that it's now just a little bit too bright. That's easy to fix. So for that, I can just go back to my normal module, my color adjustment module, and just go to the exposure, just so I can bring that down a little bit like that. If we look at the before and after, with just one click to color match and then bringing down the exposure, I'm done. It's that easy. <laughs> Let's now have a look at a headshot of Georgia. Now, what I didn't mention is my reference images that you saw here, they stay remain within Evoto. So you can apply your reference images to as many different images as you want. So let's take that vibrant one that we used before. Let's use that one again as another example. Um, so I love the vibrancy, the saturation in the background. Um, I think it's probably a bit too contrasty though on Georgia's face, no problem at all. Let's go into our adjustment and just bring down uh, go down to the masking so we want to make sure that we tick that so that it all goes blue that means that the adjustment i make to the tone and color is going to affect everything about georgia so bring down the tone about halfway and there we go that looks a little bit more softer on just georgia but we still keep that nice background color if we wanted to increase the saturation or adjust again just the background again we go over here and we can bring down the color if we wanted to but I like it all the way to max to our reference image, as we can see here. So again, you have total control within Evoto. Evoto will cleverly and intelligently get the colors to match as best it can to your image. But again, you have that lovely control where you can go in and fine tune it. It's not just, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Or changing the opacity from 100% to zero, you have way more control by individually adjusting tone on color, on not just the background, on then on the person, but not just the person, just the eyes, the, the lips, et cetera, et cetera. And you can fine tune this so nicely to get to where you want to so quickly. Now, what you can also do is maybe take an existing edit that you've made or one we've just made here. And if you click this other button, that will create a color match from the preview here. So that will create a reference of one of your images from one of your Reddit. So if we click that, that is now within our AI color looks and I can go in and I can rename that if I wanted to. So I can just call that um, color pop 
and then I could then go to say another image then click the reference we've just made of our own of our own edit and that will apply that to our other image and again we can go in and tweak by bringing down the tone or going straight into the global adjustments and maybe bringing down the exposure a little there we go Let's take a look at one more example from a maternity shoot. Go back to my AI color. I'm gonna go upload for color matching and I found this other maternity image. And what I liked about it was the color was very minimalistic, almost all color has been poured except for the skin tones, really highlighting just a couple. So let's see what this image does. It's processing and then instantly we can see that that's really giving it that almost monochromatic look. It's literally just the skin tone really we're seeing. It's completely removed all the all that warmth and those yellows and the blues in her jeans as well. Really just highlighting them. But you can also see the skin tone has remained. If we bring up our reference, bring that up as a reference so we can see the colors are looking very consistent with our reference image. So that was just a brief look at Evota AI's brand new feature. If you're anything like me and you're always looking for ways to speed up your workflow so that you can have more time with the family or more time shooting, then this is definitely a must try feature. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers guys, bye bye.